what's going on guys Michael Conley here with Infinite Hunt Outdoors just wanted to show you this camera arm this is the DIY bow hunter saddle arm comes in at 26 ounces with your OCB strap uh, which it comes with so 26 ounces super lightweight you have a 18 inch reach out there so you know in a saddle that's that's uh, pretty good that's about all you need um, I have the mini um, the mini video head from uh, fourth arrow on here I'll be running my phone off of it uh, so that's uh, weight wise I'm not adding too much weight like I said 26 ounces for this and then they recommend you don't go over seven pounds with your fluid head and uh, whatever uh, video camera you are using so it's definitely designed more for like smaller handy cams or uh, your cell phone but just want to show it to you super nice i'm going to throw it on the tree real quick and uh show you how far you can reach and uh another feature you have here is you got a leveling bubble up top they also have another leveling bubble out at the end to make sure uh you're nice and good and stable and i'll throw my phone on here once i get it up and we can see how good the video quality is see how much it bounces and stuff like that so let me get this on the tree we will see how it goes so what I saw of getting this thing on it was pretty simple how they did it first you just take your um, your buckle feed this around obviously and then you let's see if I can show you here you get this clipped in here there your buckle set. It's not tight or nothing, but it's set. You just kind of keep some pressure on it. You take your camera arm, get it in that buckle, and then you just pull that. You don't want it super tight, or you're you'll end up bending this frame. These buckles get super super tight. Make sure it's about where you want it. Obviously, it wouldn't be this high when I'm in the saddle. I need to loosen that up a little bit, actually. And you just cam this over, and you are rock solid. And then I have this screw here. So you can dig that into the tree and get what you need leveled. All right, so right there we are level. See how we look out here. Definitely needs to go up a little bit, but it's pretty good. It's in it's in the middle, but. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you a little closer look at that bubble, how it works. As you can tell, when you bring that into the tree, your bubble moves. Obviously, it pushes that camera arm out to where it is level. And we're about to the center there. And that's how you level the arm. Super simple. A couple other features on here. Obviously, you got a gear hook here, range finder, grunt call, water bottle, whatever you want to hang. But yeah, that's there. Here's the reach. You can get all the way around the tree from your strong side, which this would be my strong side, my left side, strong side. So you got to reach all the way around the tree. You can bring it back obviously and you got all the way around the tree for your weak side and then obviously getting everything behind you but really nice camera arm um i really like the packability of it obviously that stows away super nice and uh this folds up as well your setting arm this will fold up straight with the uh with that tubing there so really compact fits nice in my bag um and uh it's a really nice camera arm so check them out guys diy bow hunter all righty guys so this is uh my final thoughts on it um just going over it one more time 99 dollars for the camera arm another 25 dollars you can get a black powder coat and then they also make a tree stand arm as well um, it's a little more expensive, but if you need, you know, a few more sections, you're in a tree stand, you want it coming around, they do make a tree stand arm as well. So DIY bow hunter, check them out. Um, I'm hoping in the near future to do an actual climb with my saddle 
to set this thing up um, in the tree with me and show you how I would have it positioned. I have it in the middle of the tree now just for this video's sake. I would have it on my strong side when I was in my saddle just so I wouldn't have to move it so much. You know, I'm prepared for the deer to come on my left side. That's why I'm set up like that. And then, so I just wouldn't have to move it as much. So that's where I would have it placed. So hopefully in the near future, I'm gonna do a climb with my backpack, everything on, how I would set up in a tree for this coming year. So thanks for watching this video, guys. If you're in the market for um, a new camera arm, uh, $99, you can get this saddle arm. Um, fourth arrow video head, this was $45. So $145, I was all set up and self-filming. So if you guys are looking to get into making content or sharing with friends and family or just want them for memories this is a great camera arm supporting a small business and a great guy so check them out diy bow hunter thanks for watching